Hi Creative Birdies, how are you guys doing? Today will be a different video, but I also want to explain to you guys what I was up to. So, uh, I've been wanting to show you guys how I cook, and today is actually the first day that I'm actually off of um, a boot on my leg, and that I'm not on a stool rolling around on my kitchen. If you've been following my channel, you know that I got hit by a car and been literally handicapped in the sense of not being able to use my leg very much. But today I've been walking around a, a lot better, so I'm feeling a lot better. I came back from therapy and I had to make food. So I asked my husband what did he want and he said chipotle, which is, um, I don't know, a Latin American um, chili that comes in a can. You can add sugar to it and it will be less spicy. Sometimes I do that depending on what I'm making. But he asked for chile chipotle pork chops. And I said, all right, we could do that. So I just grabbed my phone and started recording myself doing that. The thing is that my kitchen is not well lit at all. Here's a picture of it of my dinner plated that there let's see if I can point it out right there is avocado black beans rice I always eat pork chops with mayonnaise I don't know why but I do especially if it has chipotle and uh, this is the pork chop and then there's the potato and the potato with the tomato and onions and chipotle in there. Did I mention my avocados? <laughs> Anyways, so when I'm recording I'm using this actual phone to record and I forgot to, for the first scene I forgot to flip the camera this way in order for it to fit my screen properly. Also the lighting is terrible also, the moving is pretty bad, and I have to have my fan on in the background. If not, my house gets really smoky. So, I don't chat a lot. The actual cooking part is 8 minutes and 33 seconds, and the reason for that is I don't keep the camera on the whole time. With that said, it's because I can't hold the camera, cook, and all that, because I'm barely getting back on my feet. So I just wanted to share how I cook as an artist, a mixed media artist, a jewelry designer, how I cook. This is how I cook every day. You ask me to remake what I cooked today and have it taste exactly the same, it's not going to happen. Just like I can't recreate art, I can't recreate the same exact recipe. But my food's pretty good, I've been told. I like it. Uh, I've been cooking for 25 years plus, oh, well, maybe 30 years. Yeah, so I'm pretty good in the kitchen. Just don't give me baking. I can't bake. Um, yeah, it came out really good. Black beans and rice. And when I show you the black beans and rice, it's not the exact way that I normally make black beans and rice. When I make black beans and rice, I usually um, saute onions and butter and then I add the rice sorry about that I add the rice and then I add the black beans and sometimes they're homemade and sometimes they're canned so this is gonna this is just basically the first video maybe I'll do more and it looks like the last clip is a little bit better because I switched to this camera that you guys see now. Okay, so that's it. Talk to you guys later. I apologize for all the movement, the darkness, the dirty floors because I I haven't been able to clean or mop my floors due to not being able to purchase floor cleaner because everybody's all out of floor cleaner here in Los Angeles and I haven't been able to push them up around for a while now. Life has changed so much due to this accident. Although, with that said, I'm grateful to be alive and cancer-free. 
and grateful to be here with you guys. With that said, <laughs> please be patient. And if you're interested, this is like a home video, like a literal home home video. It's pretty sloppy and messy, but you'll get the gist if you're up to making something very different. It is not something that everybody makes. It's different. So, catch you later. Bye, guys. Chipotle. Sauteed onions. Tomatoes. And tomatillo. So, four tomatoes, one tomatillo. Potatoes. Pork chops. Leftover rice. Once the onions are sauteed, I like them burnt, really burnt. Kind of like that black you see there. Once all that's ready, I will get the. I will remove this, put it into this bowl, go grab my pork chops, saute pork chops, then bring everything together, including the potatoes. I'll be back. Okay, so I'm going to add my onions to the potatoes. Careful. I like them burnt. Once I do that, then I'll come back. Okay, pork chops are on. They don't all sit at once, but that's okay because the top ones are not even defrosted all the way. And what I'll do is mix them around, bring them, give them time to cook and then trade them off into their own little spaces. I have them on medium-high heat. These are ready to move around. Did I say that the tomatoes have chipotle in them? Right there. I know it's kind of dark. My kitchen doesn't have the best lighting, but I just wanted to share with you guys how a mixed media artist cooks. <laughs> I'll be back. Okay, once all that's mixed in, the potatoes, the onions, we're going to add the tomatoes, one tomatillo, four tomatoes, and four pods of chile chipotle. This one here, and some sauce. And as far as this goes here, I don't add no seasoning, only salt, until it's done cooking, because otherwise your seasoning will burn. That's a trick with these kinds of pans for me. So I know that there's raw meat on top. All of that will get fixed. And everything will get cooked evenly. And then I'll come back. So don't forget to mix it up. How many potatoes? It just depends on the size of your family. Okay, so to our rice. A day old rice. One day old rice. We're going to add a can of black beans, and we're going to make black beans and rice, add salt to however you want, I suggest you don't get the beans without salt, they're pretty nasty, I like the beans that already are seasoned, it doesn't say it, but when it says no salt, I think they're gross, so I have this pan covering my pork chops, I'll just warm up. Sorry I have the fan on, but I have to have the fan on or the house gets really, really smoky because <laughs> I like to burn my food, charboil, broil, grill it. Not charboil, silly. Just grill it. Is it grilling? No, it's not grilling. I don't know what it is. Anyways, everything's cooking under there. Put my owl out so that I can look. 
like this. There's a pork chop. All right. I need to move this. There we go. So that's where the pork chops are. See, I don't think they're red anymore. And then I'll burn the crap out of these on purpose. This one's a little red. them uncovered and let them fry up really really good. Be back. Okay so I can tell by the sound that my pork chops are ready to start burning the way I like them to. So I'm gonna get the sauce and one pot of chipotle separated from the can so I don't um, contaminate things. up here and as far as the rice I usually add onions sauteed onions first and then butter and then the rice and beans but not today I'm still healing from an accident that I had so basically my first day uh, back on my feet slowly but surely healing So we have our black beans going under here. I'm using this pan to cover that so that this continues to heat up. And then I'm using this lid for this. These are looking good. I've got a ways to go. I've got my chipotle pouring into another container. Okay, we had to change cameras. I wanted to show you what I do in order to get pressure so I can get those really pretty lines inside of my pork chops. I just start stacking heavy things on top and then that porcelain piece down there. So I'll show you in a minute when everything's all ready and looking good. Okay, be back. Okay, all ready, ready to plate. And then that's all I do. I plate it. Plate some papa, uh, pork chops, black beans, and rice, and that's it. Bye, guys.